This morning I want to talk to us about God with us. Specifically the doctrine of Jesus Christ. And who Jesus is. People have been divided as to who Jesus is. Even when Jesus walked this earth and He ministered, people were divided. And some people thought He was just a mere man. Some thought He was a prophet. Uh, some thought He was a great teacher. Uh, but the dividing line and the distinctiveness is the claims of Christ as it relates to Him as God. I believe even, even today many people are divided as to His deity. People will say, well, Jesus was a man. Historically speaking, the historical Jesus, He existed. Some people would say, well, Jesus was a good teacher. He was a moral man. He was a great prophet. Some people would, would agree on that. But the distinctiveness over the claims of Christ and what really separates us from anything else is His claim of deity. One day Jesus asked His disciples, He said, Who do men say that I am? And they said, Well, some say you're a prophet. Some say you're Elijah. And then Jesus asked them the question. He said to them, He says, Well, who do you say that I am? And I believe that is the question we need to answer ourselves this morning and anchor our life on the claims of Christ and who we say Jesus is. <coughs> because if Jesus is not who He says He is, then nothing else really matters. But, if Jesus is who He claims to be, then nothing but that really matters. And so this morning, I want us to, to look at the claims of Christ because this fundamental truth that Jesus is God, and I want to preface that, and I want to anchor that, and just drill that, because I don't want you to think that, well, Jesus is like a God, because there are many who believe that. Or Jesus is a lesser God. Or Jesus became a God. Or that Jesus is just an angel. He's not God. Or that Jesus is a prophet. He's a mouthpiece of God. But this morning I want us to see that Jesus is God. Jesus has always been God. Jesus didn't become God. He wasn't born into deity. He has always existed as God. 1 John chapter 5, verse 20. John says, We know that the Son of God has come and has given us understanding that we know the real God. And what John is insinuating is that as there is a real God, there are also false gods, other gods, demigods. And John is drilling this home to his congregation. He is saying, listen, Jesus has come, the Son of God has come, and has given us understanding so that we can know the authentic God, the true God. The real God. We are in the one who is real. His son, Jesus Christ. This Jesus Christ is the real God and eternal life. And so that's what I, I want us to anchor. We're going to download that. We're going to unzip it. We're going to install it this morning. And I know you're like, what are you talking about? That, that's computer terms. We're going, to, we're going to apply it to our lives this morning. The reality that Jesus is God. Back in Matthew.